FM, that's what they call me. The loudest in the NFL. We are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Allen Bailey in on the stop. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Ace, ace. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 23 yards on the play. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. A gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second row. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Mahomes to throw on second down. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. He lost two there, and it's third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. He is going to find Hill here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A first trip to the red zone for KC. First and 10 at the 19. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Only three there on the screen. It's second down. 
That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now it's Mahomes again. This is caught. Watkins. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Sammy Watkins, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Butker now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Garoppolo to try again on second down. Over the middle to Garcon. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Each team has its own terminology. Some people call it jumbo, some call it monster, some call it king. But it doesn't really matter. They brought in the big lumber to pick up that first down. Yeah, you think about goal line defense with the goal line offense that time getting it done. Second quarter now. Brandon Gaughton, Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. Burrito. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now it's Burrito. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Garoppolo on first down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Hey, 21, 21. On second down, here's Garoppolo. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. This is Brita. 11 more on that one and another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot. He picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. 21-21. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. As his guys are in for six. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. The big fella was the recipient there for that touchdown pass. And it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yard your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. He's got his man on the crossing run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Solomon Thomas there on the tackle. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are in for six. And he knocks it through. Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It's caught by Garcon. And they work this well upfield across the 45. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On first down, Garoppolo. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, here's Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. That's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And the third down pass falls incomplete.
And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen Hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra, it didn't pay off in that situation. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit, ball pops out, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw, flush to his right. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. Here we go, here we go. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes looking downfield for Kelsey. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Kelsey, the intended receiver there. That'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play so we've come upon halftime here in arrowhead with the chiefs on top as we are off to orlando now to check in with jonathan coachman at our ea sports halftime report coach okay coach appreciate it a one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite go, go, subjects, go. tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Ace, a big ace. hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield Black here for first and ten. Black. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. The tackle by Eric Armstead. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Left, 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 left. Again, it's Williams. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. 
And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And they just keep marching out of downs. Garoppolo, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now Garoppolo. And that's caught inside the 35. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Throw left side, caught by Goodwin. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they're attacking on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. And going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. It's still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. And Charles, I think when the schedule's out, all teams, no matter what. Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi's Stadium tunnels. And the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Houston Texans. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Watson on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey tight. And they take possession. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. First and 10, here's Breeze. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. 
Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. There's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Losing nine yards there. And it also brings up Ford. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They do go for it. It's Breeze. Try to lay one up deep. And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Garoppolo to throw on second down. And this is caught at the end. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. The putter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Super Bowl MVP, Malcolm Smith. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Here's Breida. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They run with Breida. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, 
You'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So forget the field goal. Give them the first on that penalty. How about that? That's one way to pick it up, but that's doing it the hard way, but they'll accept it. So how big might the special team's mistake be there? Running into the kicker, and that penalty leads to first and ten. This is Breda. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Now it's Breda. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. And there we saw one of the downsides of Blitzing during a run. Down. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. A great play there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll be a second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Breeze to throw on second down. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And some room to roam now. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. On first down, Breeze. Well, this is caught by Ginn and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Breeze now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Breeze to throw again. Blitz coming and down he goes. Solomon Thomas in there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Marie's going to throw. Jen has it complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. And Lux missed it to the right. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty trip downfield there as they get a missed field goal on fourth down. And I didn't see anything in the setup. It's a good snap, good hold. Yep. He just pushed.